Alarming statistics for Hawaii's native forest bird species. Nearly half of them are now extinct. And of the dozens of species left, half are now threatened or endangered. But it's not all bad news. Our Paul Drews reports on the health of Hawaii's birds. All the people, buildings and traffic make Honolulu a crowded and noisy place. But one of the bright spots for Hawaiian birds is some of them make themselves right at home here. This time of year, you'll see kolea or golden plover roaming around even busy parts of the island. No place else in the world do they associate with people like they do in Hawaii. So we have them in our yards and on our lanais and parks, and we see them and they, we walk right by and they stay there. Kolea are just one of the few native Hawaiian bird species thriving in the islands. They've adapted. So the ones that are adapting to human presence and to the changes that we've made in the environment, some of those have adapted are doing great. Like the Manu Oku, or white tern. This is the only urban environment in the entire Pacific region where the white terns come ashore to breed. In fact, they prefer trees like this one in the middle of the University of Hawaii at Manoa campus because Manu Oku lay eggs without a nest, so look for trees with spots to hold their young. Trimming the trees the way they're trimmed here in town seems to improve the breeding habitat for them. Take the same species of tree, kukui nut for example, two side by side. One's being trimmed, the other one's not being trimmed. Invariably, they will use the trim tree. If you're wondering where Hawaii's native bird populations are, there's an app to help you find some of them. And if you see this wrapped around a tree branch, look up because that's where native terns are nesting. These species, along with the wedge-tailed shearwater, are bright spots for Hawaii's native bird populations. But the outlook for forest birds is much darker. Half the birds in the that evolved in Hawaii are now extinct. We could lose even more species, even this year, unless more is done to protect them. Control predators, so we can control our feral cats, rats, mongooses, those are the ones that really um, are devastating some species. Hawaii's native forest birds face an even bigger threat from something much, much smaller, mosquitoes. Thanks to warmer temperatures, these biting pests are now moving into higher elevation habitats. The mosquitoes, which are rising to where the forest birds are now because of climate change. And so the birds are, are dying from avian malaria, which the mosquitoes carry. And that's really what's caused a lot of extinction is the avian malaria. A project to release sterile mosquitoes into the environment has been slowed because of resistance from residents. But some native birds can't wait any longer for help from humans many of which are uh, threatened, many of which are on the verge of, of extinction. And it's um, increasingly apparent that unless uh, there are human interventions, uh, we will lose more of those species. Paul Drews, Island News. Another way that people can help is to become more educated about our native Hawaiian birds. Coming up on April 27th, the annual Manu Oku Festival, it's going to be held at Iolani Palace. That's where you can not only find out more about Hawaiian birds, but also find out ways that you can help protect them.